All right, let's look at the error. The, the job failed. The owner owner of job job does not have access or does not have server access. Uh, in, with this error, it's just a, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Consider using service accounts with appropriate permissions. We'll get into the appropriate permissions in a second. Uh, in worst case scenarios, use a standard account like SA, right? Um, but that's a worst case scenario, and the reason is because do you really want SA to have access to other server resources depending on what the job does? Probably not, so that's a worst case scenario, but never use an individual's account, okay? Um, you know, people move on, um, people can pass away, or some people can win the lottery, right? I mean, those are all, well, most of those are good things. But the thing is, if it's an individual and they leave, then what's going to happen, okay? Now, exceptions do apply here in the sense that there are certain things that you can do in through the GUI, through Management Studio, that when you do, replication is a great example, that it automatically creates a job with a person's name, right? So what you can do is if you have a service account set up, you can log in with the service account and set that all up. And that way it takes the service account's name. Or you can go in and update the job after it's created or jobs after, it's, or after they're created, okay? And then here's the other big one that I see a lot of, which is um, the user of the job, or the owner of the job, I should say, has the appropriate access to what it needs, right? Um, I mean, if I set up a service account for backing up and it's supposed to have access to that one network share along with the database permissions to back things up, but we take away its, you know, access to the share, well, then it can't back up because it, it can't access that network share, right? I understand uh, the be best practice, and this is true, remember the least amount of access that's required for each account. It's very true. But when we say least amount, we mean it. if, if it's going to back up, it still has to have access to where it's going to back up to. So that doesn't mean no access, it means least amount, right, if that's what the job does. So that's one of the ways in which you can solve this problem. Um, first of all, just make sure that it's it's under the right account from the beginning, and then make sure that the appropriate account or the account has the appropriate permissions for what it's doing.